Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. What do we got, Old Elk? Old Elk. And manga shirts. <laughs> Old Elk, Sherry Cats. Uh, woo, and some twin manga, baby. He's my mini-me. Mini-me, we're going to test it. He ain't loving it, Scott. <laughs> We were talking, you said Craig LT23, you wore this last. Well, that was like eight years ago. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Manga shirts are ridiculous. No, they're coming in hot. Everybody's Nobody, them now. no grown man that I know wears them. Only if you're secure. I even wore them when we were in Scotland. Yes. And it was ridiculous. <laughs> I love but it. I'm 6'6. Six, six. I years, already look ridiculous. Years ago, you started this. <laughs> Yeah, visual whimsy. Whatever, whatever it is. The, okay, yeah. visual whimsy. Visual whimsy. And I refused to wear yep. monk. Yeah, you were not feeling it. We did one show, and you got me to wear one. This one. Craig Gellicky 23, go look at Craig it. Craig Gellicky 23 year, which I recently came across. I reminded Bart about it because Charlie, well, yeah. multi-casking. Yes, they're dressing up. One, yeah. Wanted manga shirts, let's just say. Right. Yeah, okay, got it. Good point. So I remembered I had a Spider-Man one that we took Christmas card photos That's in, right. and I was thinking yeah. it was that one. Yeah. I didn't ever wear it for a review, I don't think. Really? But this one, you, this was the matching one that and you I got thought, me to wear. Yeah, I thought we had another one. He's like, nope. And when he and thinks he's right, he, nope, nope. He'll cut you off. It's infuriating. <laughs> yeah, that's infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then he's he does have a slightly better memory than me. Just a smidge. Well, you, occasionally. Actually, he's unbelievable. It depends. He it could no, be like, depends. we have the yeah. original Old Elk. I believe it was October of uh, 09. I'm like, what? Let's move into the whiskey a little oh, bit yeah, here. That's what I was trying to do. Come back. Yep, yeah. yep. This is Sherry. Old Elk Sherry. Woo, we hadn't had that. Again, my nephew Michael was in town. He brought this. Now, I agreed to wear this just for a little bit. It's kind of half on right now. Half on, on, half Leave off. Leave it on. It looks good. I refuse to you button it You look like my up. brother from another mother. Uh, <laughs> Old Elk <laughs> Sherry Cast. Oh, this is cast strength 54.85%. I'm digging that. Uh, 750 yeah, milliliter. 70. I don't know about that. I remember the Elk Stopper, the Elk Horn Stopper. It's a weird thing. I See, think. I don't remember that. I do. I, I know we did. We like had another. I like the, uh, uh, the, the one throwback. Or two of theirs. Uh, five years old. Wow, another five year. Where do they make this? Was it South Dakota? South Dakota feels like it's somewhere from like the mountains with that elk mock-up horn antler. Horn? Antler, I mean. Antler. Distilled in Indiana. Oh, that's good stuff then. We know where that is. Bottled by Old Elk Distillery. Okay. New York City. Fort Collins. What? Colorado. Colorado. Woo! Watch out. I've been in Fort Collins before. I think I dated a girl from there once. All right. At least right. they don't bill it as Colorado whiskey, like the old uh, tin <laughs> the cup. Tin cup, baby. Like I had an mm, officer like, come up and said, hey, nope. I know you got a show. I got that tin cup. What do you think of that? I go, it's got a nice little tin cup on it. <laughs> I said, those guys are from Aspen, so. This smells like a 40% whiskey. Wow. I don't know. It smells a little stronger. Is it that. getting you? It got my hair a little bit in the nostril. I get a little cherry on this as well. Yeah. Cherry brown sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Whew. Uh Nutella. Chocolatey, nutty. Okay. Wow. A little raspberry. Um, no, it, it's still burning my nose a little bit. What did you say that it was 50, 54. 54.85 yeah, or something. It kind of got me out of 54. I don't yeah. I don't get man, I'm not maybe I don't know why. I'm not getting <sighs> You're a pro much alcohol at all you. on it. Usually something like that more. would Jump out of the glass and yeah, burn the I'm getting a little bit of cherry rind, the skin of a cherry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're mm. going in. Mm. All right. Mm. I was just about ready to. <laughs> mm -hmm. We try to only one sip at right. a time. That way there's not a dead air. Dead that air. shirt's looking good on you, brother. Anytime you got a character on your shirt with a with a blade, with a sword, looks good. You did it. You did one of them lingering gazes. <laughs> <laughs> so he sneaks them in. He freeze frames. And then he comes back to life. <laughs> People love it. It's called, I, he calls it silent comedy, which is not a <laughs> gift I have. 
<laughs> Unless you talk visual whimsy, baby. Woohoo! Yeah, silent comedy. Mm -mm, not me. What do you say? What say you? A little bit, okay. A little alcohol showing on the palate. A little astringent, a little dry in the finish. Yeah. Oaky. Almost a touch of powdered sugar. Um, yeah, the oak lingers, though. It's a nice. Hmm. It's a just, nice okay, so sher the sherry cast, this is a bourbon whiskey. Sherry cast finish. <laughs> um, straight bourbon whiskey, mm -hmm. finished in sherry. So look for the bourbon notes, look for the sherry notes. This actually feels more like a single malt finished in sherry, I think. Really? I mean, I'm looking for some of those. Man, I get a lot of those oak bourbon notes on there. Bourbon? It's like a, a, a wood, an, not, not a wood chip, but a bourbon twist. A, a wood oak, uh, a blonde oak, not overly oaked. For those that don't know, I, I don't like my bourbon too oaky. Some do, but this is a nice oak. Feels like a wet, tastes like a wet barn floor. <laughs> if you can, you don't. Let me mess with it. You better not put that on. Wow, that was almost sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like you're wearing my dress shirt. It's yeah. just so hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I got a buttoned up. You never even probably showed it. It's still I like on. how you're showing a little bit of skin here. Woo! God dang. <laughs> what say you? Really, that's what, the only thing standing out. Is it's astringent on the on the on the finish. Mm -hmm. I get oak. <laughs> don't, don't dress me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. I, it still feels more malty to me than it does bourbon-esque. I mean, I'm just looking for these usual bourbon notes. I think the sherry cask is hiding them, but what is it bringing? It is fruity. Yeah. Do you get a little it, bit of milk chocolate in the finish? Okay, yeah, a little bit of milk chocolate. Which I don't get a lot uh, often. Hmm. Yeah, I get a little bit of milk chocolate sherry on the finish. Let's try it with some water. Maybe yeah, that'll I put a little up. water into mine. Maybe that's why I'm getting it. It's not bad. I like it. It's good, but mm -hmm. it's kind of it's kind of confusing a mm. little bit. Oh, you? I did. I already put water oh, in you mine. Did. Mm -hmm. I like it with water. Um, the touch of water removed for me some of the astringency, softened up the the wood flavors, and gave me that milk chocolate finish. I'm pouring some more. <laughs> I, I, I liked it with the water. Wow. Hmm. That, with a touch of water, was a sweet spot. Got a little coconut right there. Ooh, I love with coconut. the water. I'm not off the look for that. Spicy. I'm going right in little, with water. Little peppery, a little nutmeg. Okay. Nutty. Yeah. Right, I think, okay, so now I'm getting more of the sherry type notes. Mm. The water definitely opened it up for me. And I'm still, I'm just really confused mm. in the fact that it just feels more like a single malt than it does a bourbon. Did you hurt your finger? When you poked me in the chest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was thought like maybe you, you jammed Stay puff marshmallow, man. <laughs> I thought maybe. I heard you were like, oh, you're going to have to tape it up and tape it together. Because you'd be like, man, I, I jammed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stay puff marshmallow. <laughs> What's the little baker guy that's baking the bread? He was oh, a that's a Pillsbury yeah, guy. They, they Pillsbury that's who I was yeah, they poked yeah. him in the stomach. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're all over the place. Hmm. <clears throat> I think touch I like of it. water. Touch of water made me really like it. I like that finish. Now that touch of milk chocolate. The sherry is a little stronger, even with the water. Yeah, water really made me enjoy this. Yeah, layer it up. Yeah. I, I think it's better with water, too. I get a little cola note in there as well. So, cherry, cola, milk, chocolate. Um, again, this is just me. Um, the wood flavors have kind of gone into the background now, which is something. Um, this, I like better with the water. Definitely. Um, and it's got room to come down at that high ABV, 
which again, one thing I love or we love about a high ABV is you can add the water and play with your whiskey. You can throw a cube in there, let it melt, pull that cube out when it hits a sweet spot. Love it. That's good. Hmm. That definitely changed my score there. I'm ready to score. You ready? You doing a little, a little gum test, a little rub, rub your tongue along the teeth. It's in there. It soaks in. Mm -hmm. It's got good. Hmm. Hey, do you know the price of this? I guess. Yeah. I know did this not is. Ask yeah. That was that's, my, right. that's from my nephew Michael yep. again. Yep. Greg Metz is that the distiller here? I believe so. Metzy. Metzy. Metz. Metz. Score it. Um, I jumped up to an eighty-seven. That's right. I mean, that's where I was yeah, at. Yeah, I was at 87, yeah. 88. It was about 87, an 85 88. with the wood in there. And when I added the water, it was it's, 87, 88. So I pick one, I should pick one. I'm going to go 88. It really is growing on me. It's good. I, I like it, but I kind of feel like the sherry and the... It's one of those where the sherry and the bourbon are fighting each mm. other. You know, which... which I could see that. Adding like the two, water, two definitely. teenage kids fighting over, you know, which one's your favorite. Or us. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> You're the sherry. I'm the Pete. <laughs> um, water. Water. I love, I think the proof for this definitely uh, saved it for me. Uh, not that it was bad. Right. It, it just so wasn't the bourbon in my style with those oak flavors. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking 85 water comes in. I get that milk chocolate, bumps up. The, I'm going to go 88. 88 with it. Yeah. I like that high proof. Still not sure about the antler thing. <laughs> but it looks cool. Stands out on the shelf, which is, I'm sure, what they're looking for. Go to scotchchestdummies.com. You can pick up barrel caps, which mm -hmm. I didn't have on there. Mm -hmm. You can pick up dropper sets, shirts, hats. Not these manga Not shirts. Not these. These are great. These would be way too expensive. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> you can also go to Patreon. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. If you love the show and you want it to keep coming, you can support for a dollar a show, $3 a show. You can pick your number. You can do it $1 a month, whatever you want. If, if, and I haven't been saying this, maybe that's why we've had a little bit of a drop off. If you support for at least $2, we'll shout your name with gusto. I mean, we'll say your name we like do. you've never even heard your name said before. We you do. just do a dollar, we'll say it like, you know, Jim Smith. But if it was Jim Smith at two or three dollars or more, how would you? Jim say? Smith! Woo! We get all into it and everything. And that's, you want that, Jim. Come on, Jim. <laughs> So gotcha. I was going to say real oh, quick, I could sorry. see if we called up that Chinese shirt manufacturing company Ooh. and we said, hey, we need five manga shirts. Oh, and they'd be like, that's going to be expensive. Why no, only five? And they'd be like, well, that's all we're going to sell. What? If no, we'd, we'd sell like them out. 500. 500. We, we make us on it. They'd be like, look at that. That could be Scott that's with a, like a sword. That's a pretty small run. That could be Scott with a sword. Uh, and I could have like claws like have Wolverine. To charge you like $1,100 oh, a piece. Oh, no, these things would sell out. Collectors. People would hold on to them. They'd be famous. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Scotch it. Elk antler, baby.